Identification is the only sin. The mystic Rajiv said, Man is a prisoner and he has lived in the prison for so long that he has completely forgotten that he is a prisoner. And the prison is so big that you can't feel it because you never see the boundaries. The boundaries are very subtle. The walls are there, but they are very subtle and transparent, made of pure glass, crystal glass. And you have lived in the prison so long that you think this is your home. This is your life. This is how life is supposed to be. Okay, pause. But why? Because of the psychological process of identification that was taking place all over the years. If you want to attain freedom, first freedom of identification needs to be achieved. Identification with everything. Thoughts, emotions, sensations. Identification of what others might think of you. You're not stupid, but by thinking and identifying with this thought, you become stupid. The results, either you waste a ton of energy figuring out what they think of you, or whether you can trust them. Or you might get anxious, unfriendly, suspicious, and identify with these emotions or attitudes which consume further energy. The general rule is, if you identify with something, it becomes a part of your personality. Therefore, we call it our identity. But this identity is not what we actually are, only what we think we are. Right now, while you are listening to me, if you can't see all existing thoughts and emotions only as a small part of yourself, as something separate from the rest of yourself, then they become what you are, and you fall into a state of identification. It's difficult to free oneself from identifying because we become more easily identified with things that interest us in which we invest all our time, work and attention. According to Gurdjieff, man is always in a state of identification. Only the object of identification changes. Therefore, man does not respond to reality, but is only reacting because he gets triggered by whatever you put in front of his face. When he identifies with it, it becomes problematic because he completely forgets his actual purpose and only gets distracted by things such as comfort, money, status or consumption. Gorjeev was convinced that, because of our conditioning and education, most of us live our lives that way, not realizing our real potential since we are totally identified with our personality, self-image or daydreams that capture our attention at the moment. Because we got conditioned to say I to each impulse that arises, especially those ones that support our self-image, we got stuck in this illusion and lose ourselves at every moment in irrelevant aspects of our lives. The first moment of freedom only emerges when your attention is entirely occupied with experiencing the present moment. When you notice that all those thoughts are only thoughts. Therefore, Gurdjieff used to say, my whole teaching can be condensed into one word, and that is this identification. My name is Till and this is Till Talk.